Liverpool have been told it'll take a club record fee around £85 million. Wow. To prize the Uruguayan striker Nunes from Benfica. The 22 year old uh, was it 34 goals he scored last season, scoring against Barca, Bayern Munich, and Liverpool in the Champions League. So, great form there. Nunes is on Jurgen Klopp's wanted list this summer as he looks to reshape his attack in the likely event of Manny's departure to Bayern and the uncertainty now over Salah's long term future. For more on Liverpool, we're joined by the Daily Mail's North West correspondent, Dom King. Dominic, Von- morning, morning, Dom. Dom. Morning, Dom. How are you, mate? Very well, good morning, gentlemen. How are you? Good. Very well, mate. Very well. Dom, indeed. should the alarm bells be ringing now that, you know, we're reading about Nunes in most of the papers here? Um, d- does that tell us that certainly one or both may be leaving Liverpool? Um, I don't know about alarm bells. I mean, I, I think um, if they're going to, if they're looking to um, break the club transfer record, which they are, to, to sign one of the most exciting uh, young strikers in Europe, then it's it's it, there's there's an element of excitement to it. Um, I can understand the um, why you say about the alarm bells because I, I mean I personally think it's going to be very very um, Mane Mane in some ways is is irreplaceable because of, over what he's done over the last six years he's been absolutely um, yeah, one of the best signings of the Egan Klopp era. That, without, without a shadow of a doubt, uh, won everything. Been been an absolutely massive player. Turned up in every big game. Remember Graham um, Souness talking about him, saying he is Liverpool's star. Yeah, he is. He is. He's absolutely. Uh, I mean, it, it felt in some ways that it, only towards the end of last season that he was really being appreciate, appreciated for what he is. Um, but I think he's got his heart set on a move elsewhere and. With with twelve months to go, you couldn't keep a player that you could get good money for um, at, at the club and, and, and not being happy. So I, I think they've, they're being they're, they're being um, just shrewd economically or, or from a business sense that they're, they're getting the replacements in now when they can. Dom, a couple of things, mate. What uh, just to clarify, what are the current contract situations with Salah and Mane? And you think we're reaching a stage now? in football where people are top top players are going to have to get their contracts renewed with two years to go yeah so um Salah and Mane both both out of contract uh, in 12 months time uh, so is Firmino uh, we should add so is Naby Keita Naby Keita was um a club a club record fan as well so there's there's a bit of there's a bit of um discussions shall we say to, to be done there um, who's like that happened Dom who do you point the finger at I wouldn't say it's. I wouldn't say it's a, a, a case of finger pointing. I'll to be honest with you. I, I, I would think there's conscious decisions. I think look, they would they would have got Salah done by now if if um, if they could have done. Um, it's just it's just proven very problematic. He's he's it's. I, I mean. The, the, I've seen some stories recently saying that he, he wants to go to, or he would consider going to another Premier League club um, when if it, in, in twelve months' time, which suggests it is about money. It, it's all about money. Yeah. Um, I, I, I think Salah. I think if if if, if the people around Salah realise what he's got at Liverpool, they would know that he probably would never get that anywhere else. And by that, I'm talking about the whole package of the manager, mm-hmm. the way that. The way the team's set up, the way he's the way he's adored by the fans, um, he'll he'll never he'll never get what he's got at Anfield elsewhere. He might get you know he might get another seventy five hundred grand a week elsewhere, but is that is you know is the he's already fabulously well paid. Um, I I don't know. I mean, will he see sense and, and and sign a contract? I mean, Liverpool don't seem to be worrying about it. Um, with another 12 months to go, maybe they can sort a deal out. But at, at, at the moment, um, Mane will be the one out of the, of the original three of him, Firmino and Salah that, that goes, I think. So you're looking at it, I was, I was, is it a wee bit like the golfers in the respect that the only way they can leave Liverpool is for money or could they potentially hit you a line? No, I've always wanted to play for Bayern Munich, for example. You know what I mean? Because I, I yeah. can't understand that. I've got to say, Dom. I mean, I'm thinking they're playing with one of the best sides in Europe. As you correctly 100% say, they're worshipped by the Liverpool fans. They're playing in a team with a brilliant coach. 
you know, they're going to be winning things, they'll continue to win things, you would think, they're, you know, I still think, I don't care what MD says, I think they had a fantastic season last year, of course it didn't end the way they wanted it to, but what a season, what a ride they gave their fans, so why, what, what are the reasons, why would you leave? <sighs> It, it's in. It's it's. Um, we don't know what uh, we don't know what's going on in people's personal lives, do we, Ali? We don't know True. what 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 the, what they're thinking sometimes in terms of you know new challenges. Maybe maybe there is. Um, I w- what I would say about Mane with with Bayern is he he played in Salzburg. He knows the area. Um, if he's if he's going there and he's going to be the main man and he knows there's, there's going to be more medals there, which the, which there will be yeah. for him. Mm. Maybe maybe there is the, the the law of the new challenge. He's been at Liverpool for six years. He's done everything there is that he can possibly do. Um, maybe it, has, it, it just comes down to the, the, the individual choice of you know he wants um, he wants to to seek a, a, a fresh challenge. Mm. Um, Salah Salah again. I mean. <laughs> I've been I've been to Egypt and I've seen the way um, I've been to where Salah's from and I've seen the way he is adored and particularly with Liverpool. I mean the Liverpool elements has has, has put him onto an absolutely different level back back in back in Egypt. He's you know he's as popular as royalty. Um, I I don't understand what 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 it is that he is looking for mm-hmm. at, at the moment. He, Liverpool have made the made made the I I believe um, the they, they would they would give him the, the sort of you know a, a, a wonderful financial package um, as I said the team's set up the way it is if I if I was if I was salary you know he'd, if he wants to sort of be he, he said something didn't he about wanting to, um, to to take over Ian Rush and be Liverpool's all time top scorer yeah which which. Which it might not seem realistic, but if he if he wants to do that, I mean, what an incredible! He'd, he'd go down as Liverpool's greatest ever player if he did that, with, with absolutely mm-hmm. no, no no shadow of a doubt. If if he could if he could beat Ian Rush's record in say ten years, that 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 would make him on on an absolutely different level. Um, but you know, it, it's it's. It's going to be. It's not the, the situation is not going to go away any any time soon. Let's put it that way. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10. On AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app, and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.